Welcome to another fantastic tutorial. I know I've been missing a lot. I've been busy photographing, shooting, doing lots of color grading projects. Anyways, today we're going to be focusing on HDR workflow. This video is number one of many that we're going to be covering for HDR workflow. And this is going to be a setup video, how we're going to set up our project to properly work in HDR. Before we start, I want to say special thank you to Fine Story, a professional stock footage platform. Be sure to check it out. Use code ARMK to get 20% off of any subscription. Fine Story links in the description below. And another sponsor of my own, Origami LUTs, fantastic clean LUTs for digital cameras. And within the next couple of days, I am releasing the HDR LUTs for red digital cameras. Be sure to check them out. All the links in the description below. All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> Here we have an image from red. Now, I want to point out that when you're working with HDR, preferably you always have 10 or 12 bit true image, or even better if you're actually working with the raw image, because HDR is very highly demanding and we need absolutely the best what we can get from our cameras. Also, when you're working with HDR, it's very important that you do not have highlights clipped well, in this case, we have cars, headlights clipped. It's no big deal, but preferably you always want to be sure that you don't have anything clipped and you're working with a properly exposed image. Okay, so here is not too bad. This is going to be really, really good. Okay, so what we do now we have the camera raw tab over here. When we're working with HDR, this tab actually going to be really irrelevant to a point because we're going to be transitioning to a different color. So how we're going to do that? Click on this little gear, okay, right over here, project settings, go to color management. And in the color management, we have to change a few things. So the first thing we need to do is change color signs to DaVinci YRGB. So now we can manually dial our color space. Now, the way we dial this can be achieved by several ways. I'm gonna do the easiest and quickest. In the end, the result not gonna be different at all. Okay, so we have automatic color management check marked. Color processing mode, it says SDR, standard definition. So we're gonna change that to HDR, okay? Now, output color space, we're gonna set up PQ. So HDR PQ. So this is very simple way. This is sort of a generic way of doing this. However, if I'm going to uncheck automatic color management, okay, now we have a little bit more precise and what do we need here? So in our color processing, I'm going to find, let's see, HDR Rec 2020 PQ. So this is where we're going to be working. And our color space going to be Rec 2020 ST 2084 1000 nits. Okay. Now, if you want, you can choose use separate gamma and space but it's actually not making any difference how you dial this because in the end, it's all the same. Now, let me talk a little bit about the numbers. Color space, Rec 2020. We all know what color space is, and if you don't, go read my blog. I explain everything very precisely. <clears throat> the next one, ST2084 1000 nits. Basically here, is where you set up your brightness for the project. So for my project, I want to be sure that I'm working with a thousand nits brightness. I don't want to go lower. I don't want to get higher. My monitor can handle 1000 nits perfectly. 
Okay, so that's what I'm gonna choose. Next one, HDR Mastering 4. This one is for metadata. So we're gonna click this, and by default, it's going to be 1000 nits of brightness. Now, another piece of metadata. We can select Dolby Vision, if we're color grading for Dolby Vision, or we can select HDR 10 plus. In my case, because it's a YouTube, I'm gonna be selecting HDR 10 plus, okay? Just like this. And we're gonna click save. And as you can see, the image turned kinda a little bit pale. So we changed our project settings, but that's not all. And I'm gonna give you a link to my blog post. Make sure you read this because you need a special equipment in order to color grade for HDR. You cannot color grade using GUI because this is not accurate result, okay? So we're gonna go again into project settings and now we're gonna go into the master settings. And in the master settings, where it says video monitoring, I'm gonna do certain things. So first of all, I'm gonna change my project to UHD, even though I believe it's an 8K. Okay, uh, next one, video format. This is how I preview on my monitor. So my Asus Pro Art is UHD, and I'm gonna match the setting. So UHD 2160 25P, okay. Next one, I'm gonna select data levels to full. I'm gonna make sure that video bit depth, I'm gonna select to 12 bit. My monitor is 10 bit, but we're gonna feed the 12 bit signal into it and enable HDR metadata right over here. Make sure to have that selected. Basically what it says, I don't know why it's so kind of shrunken right now. It says that if we wanna have our HDR being fed through HDMI cable, and that's what I'm using. So we're gonna say, okay. All right, now we're gonna click save. And let me show you the Dolby Vision monitor. Now we kind of have very dark image. And by default, this is where we're working. Now we're working with a very dark image. Now we're in HDR. One more thing we need to do. If we're gonna go to scopes, make sure that you have your scopes set for HDR. Click on these three dots over here and select waveform scale style and make sure you have HDR ST 2084, just like our project. So make sure this is selected, that way you can preview your scopes properly. And whatever color grading you do is going to be reflected on your little monitor correctly. So this is the first part of tutorial. Next one, we actually gonna start color grading in HDR. And the next video actually going to be recorded in HDR. So if you don't have a proper monitor, you're probably not gonna be able to see everything, but I'm gonna try to make sure that we can see what's going on. Anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to check it out my new blog. I post a lot of information there. Most of the things I'm actually gonna be posting there instead of YouTube. YouTube is just gonna be like a video hosting for me. I don't really care anymore about it. So everything on my blog, links in the description below. See you soon. Thank you.